Hey guys, Pusakal here and welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to show you the James Donkey Tenacity RS2 sent over by our friends from Mac Keys. And without further ado, let's unbox this keyboard with my adorable assistant. Let's now take a look of what's inside this keyboard. There are a total of 8 screws that's holding the top frame and the bottom case. Be careful while opening the case because the PCB is connected to a daughter board with a JST cable. One thing I really liked is this push button switch for the wired and wireless mode. It is very accessible, placed at the top and not visible. I think I like this more than slider switches that sometimes require you to flip the keyboard over to see where the slider is going. Compared to this, you just press the button. The case is dampened with a silicon slab that also conceals the battery so it won't get in contact with the PCB when you are typing. They used a different kind of material for the gaskets. It's less dense than a foreign foam, almost looks like a PE foam but the compression and the decompression are very good. It has films on both sides and I don't really know what the purpose is. Here we see another daughter board for the knob and the OLED screen, also connected to the PCB with a JSD cable. At the top frame, there are also gaskets with a different appearance than what's at the bottom. It's gray and the film feels like a rubberized sheet. I couldn't take it out because it's glued and I don't have a replacement in case I ruin this one. The plate and PCB assembly are joined together with screws hidden beneath those keycaps. I ripped off the plate from the PCB because I'm lazy. So here's another interesting thing. The PCB is lined with an EVA switch pad. I tried removing it but I think it will only tear up if I do so. It does look really clean with the switch pad on. 
This one is the reset switch. I think they even used a different kind of socket. I don't know what brand these are, but I think I've seen similar ones with royal clutch keyboards, but they don't really look and feel this well built. Anyway, this allows more space beneath the PCB because it doesn't have the socket housing like the usual ones from Kale or Gateron. The FR4 plate has legends for the keys. They also use lube stabilizers, EVA plate foam, double shot PBT keycaps with eggshell texture finish. and Gadron Pro Silver. So let's head over to the typing test to experience, witness, and hear how this keyboard performs. If you want to buy this keyboard, you can head over to MacKeys.com. MacKeys is an online PC peripheral store that offers a wide range of choices from keyboards, mice, switches, and even keycaps. It's a global store that can cater to different parts of the world, so head over to MacKeys and check out their products. I then concluded that this keyboard doesn't need modding at all. The way it was built is what I would want my keyboard a year ago. For today, I'm going to let it as it is, because it is what it is. You may leave a comment if you have any ideas what mods I should try to this keyboard and remember to like and subscribe for more tech stuff. This is Puzakal, Alam.